Hi everyone, it's Be Divine and today we're going to do another messages from your animal spirit guides and we will see what comes up for us. Ooh, I get this feeling that's just like this really good message is going to come through for all of us. Okay, last time we had the spider and some people were a little bit freaked out but it's, it's a good one to get. All animals are beautiful and precious. Okay, messages from your animal spirit guides. Here we go, I'm going to close my eyes and I'm going to focus on um, what animal is there for us? What message do we have um, for, this, for this time we're doing this? I don't know when you're seeing it, but let's see. Okay. Oh, this is interesting. All right, well, I don't think we've had it before. The shark. <laughs> All right, we're getting some freaky animals coming on up. How many people are afraid of sharks? It's not really sharks you're afraid of, it's the bite, isn't it? <laughs> so, sharks have got instincts. So you're here to trust your instincts and discerning truth in situations. So the shark is working with us all at the moment. And I'm going to read to you a little bit of the associations of the shark. So, confidence, protection, of course, respect, survival, authority, focus, action, unpredictability, ancestors, shape shifting, solitude, endurance, assertiveness and divinity. All right, so I'll read this for you. It's time to tune into your gut feelings, everybody, using slow deep breathing as an access code. Listen with all of your senses to discern what your body is telling you and use your intellect to interpret whether it's a conditioned reaction or an instinctual response. With practice, you'll refine your perceptual capabilities so that you can completely trust what you feel. So your instinctual self is that aspect of you that sends signals to your brain directly from your body. It's what's responsible for your survival, particularly when you're in a life-threatening situation and you must avoid danger by fighting or fleeing or remaining still and quiet. Your instinct dictates which choice most likely ensures your perpetration. Perpetuation, sorry. It's much more primal than intellect and it's what connects humans with all other animals. The trust for your instinctual signals can be modified and distorted by conditioning, especially childhood conditioning. When you're repeatedly told to distrust what your body is telling you, or you face life-threatening situations with no escape, this exquisite survival mechanism becomes clouded at the least and completely suppressed at the extreme. It's replaced by either a generalized fear and agitation that gets projected onto relatively benign situations or else a psychic numbness that anesthetizes the senses and severely limits your body's ability to process environmental cues for danger. This sensory numbness also limits your ability to fully experience pleasure. So we must remember that we are born with these massive instincts in our life. We got these gut feelings. We don't often follow them and what happens when we don't follow the gut feeling is eventually things uh, go in the wrong direction. So maybe it's meeting someone for the first time and there's just something that you feel that, you know, just a little bit of a worry, but the person seems fine and they're, you know, um, happy and joyful and you're like, oh, that must be just me. You know, it must be just me making a judgment or something and you allow it to go and suddenly the true colours come out. It might take a couple of years, it might take a couple of months and suddenly the true colours and you go wham. That's why I had that funny feeling. So always trust it. So your instincts are always telling you what you need and your body is always telling you when something is out of balance. So if you've got this big bloating in your stomach and you know you've, you've put this layer of protection around yourself and you know you've got this big tummy that's happening you know what is it telling you what do you need to do you need to allow it to release itself from how holding that protection for you if you don't need that anymore or you don't want that anymore talk to your stomach you know put your hands over your stomach and say i you know now it's okay you can release now i'm strong enough to do this 
and I've let go of all of these other things you're still remaining I know you want to protect me but now is the time that you can release and allow me to become back to myself and I can protect myself so you know you can see different areas of our body like maybe your digestion system all around your stomach maybe going through issues what is it trying to tell you and you know your body will always let you know and it should always be in perfect balance and harmony and if it's not in perfect balance and harmony then what emotional thing are you doing that's keeping it in that state of of panic and there are many people that say that they are ready to release and yet they've still got issues going on because they're not really truly ready to release because that might mean if they're completely well that might mean that they don't get support from anyone anymore or they'll have to do something with their life and it's frightening for them and it's crippling to them and you know many people have this problem going on and it's not really their fault they're just so scared they don't know how to to move forward but if you if you want really do want change in your life there is freedom for you and the shark energies are working with you and so you know what do, what do you think of when you see a shark he's not afraid of anything you know he's like the king of the water he's not afraid of anything uh, he can't even see when he attacks something yet he trusts that he's always in the right place and he's always going to bite down on the right thing <laughs> You know, and he uh, uses his strange sense of smell. So because he can't see that well, he's got this amazing sense of smell. And this may happen to you too. If you can't hear very well, all your other senses are really, really open. But what are you not wanting to hear? You know, anything can be healed within you, especially working with your higher self or asking God or the source of everything to, um, you know, you say, I'm ready to release that why do I have this issue you get shown what the issue is or you feel intuitively what the issue is and you say okay now I accept I accept the healing that that is coming my way this is how massive healing works uh, it's all about us um, allowing and surrendering and releasing our issues looking at ourselves and, and examining ourselves and knowing what what is really going on why do we have this excess weight? What are we really doing? And a lot of light workers and um, people that do readings for people and psychic people and all those kinds of things, um, a lot of people that work with children or um, have a lot of empathy for other people or are helping people in some way do tend to hold on to this layer of protection. They don't want to be hurt. They don't want to be ridiculed for what it is that they do. So they hold on to layers. It may even be in the upper body, you know, or even in the lower extremities, just holding on to this, you know, needing to be strong on the ground. Or think about it. Think about what advice you may give to somebody else that comes to you with different issues. And you can open your chakras and do all that till the cows come home. But um, if you're not actually focusing on the real issue at hand, that problem is going to remain there. So hold that area of your body and say, I'm now willing to release anything that is holding me back. I want all the cells to um, remember me at my healthiest, most vibrant self in any direction of time. And you will start. In 30 days, our cells completely change again. So in 30 days, you will notice what has happened to you the changes that have happened to you and if you've still got this massive belly if that's one problem with you um, if you've still got that then you haven't truly let go so it's a matter of working out what it is that you're not letting go of and the other thing that happens is that once we um, do let go of something there's like an open area there like there's another wound where there's more and more and more things that we need to dig out you know that we need to bring to the surface and you know things can just hit you suddenly as well like suddenly becoming emotional about different things it hits you suddenly um, when you've released something there's something else that will that will hit you suddenly it's a matter of bringing ourselves back into balance and harmony and uh, trusting our instincts trusting our gut feelings letting go of limitations and what we've been told our whole life in one way or another and, and learning to be strong within ourself and you know working with your higher self and who cares if you can't see your higher self you know it's there we can't see the air but we can see the effects of the air we can see the trees moving you know we know that the air is there 
<laughs> so the same thing with your higher self you may not actually physically see it but you will feel the effects of your higher self working with you your angels you will feel the effects of them working with you you will feel your guides working with you um, you know they shouldn't be talking to you all the time without your permission but you know you will feel them if you are asking for assistance you will feel the direction you'll suddenly go to the store and you'll find something that you need to eat um, or you need to be drinking that allows you to flush through and uh, you know clear out all those things that are holding you back and also it might be a fear of how you would look when you are your perfect self how many girls have got issues about their body um, and their, their face and this that and the other because they're comparing themselves to God knows what so if you actually were the perfect body for your your shape and that are you going to feel confident in it are you going to walk that stuff you know you're going to wear the clothes that you say you want to wear and uh, you know are you going to feel confident so maybe this confidence is actually holding you back from having that which what you want um, I know for myself that when I was I was always about 50 55 kilos and I was self-conscious of that because I felt that I was looked at as an object so part of me doesn't allow myself to lose weight very easily because I'm afraid of being you know that little you know 50 50 kilo um, with the blonde hair and the big eyes and all of that as well I'm a little bit afraid of what attraction that brings towards me um, but that I was younger then so I've got to say to myself no I was younger then and I don't know as much as I know now so now if this was to happen to me and I was to go back to my normal shape and my normal size I'd be completely fine with it um, so come on <laughs> you know what I mean so we just got to work with what we've got and we've got to understand the different layers of ourselves and why we do all these things and I hope that this is helpful to you somewhere and I don't know when you're watching this um, but I know that it will be the right time and I hope that um, each one of you has a blessed blessed day and you start working on yourself a little bit maybe working with aromatherapy and incense and candles and you know taking some time out for yourself to do things properly and evaluate yourself properly what I find is before I go to bed is the best time for me because your subconscious is very very um, aware at that time you, you're in a theta state just before you fall asleep which is the best time for like some sort of auto suggestion or self hypnosis in a way give yourself the suggestion that you need uh, make it a positive one and when you go to sleep it'll unfold or you'll get information in your sleep as well all right everybody so this was the message from the shark trust your instincts okay trust them we've got them for a reason we've got to trust them and uh, be sure of ourselves and um, so what about all that noisy stuff that goes blah, 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 blah. what about this what about that what about this what about that blah, blah, blah. stop all that we've got to stop all that clutter in our head just trust the instincts, move forward, trust the instincts, move forward, trust the instincts, move forward. And don't have it in your mind that you've got to be right about everything. You don't. You're just going to trust your instincts. It's always right in some way. It's always right. It always comes out right for you. Okay, until the next video, it's goodbye from me and uh, many, many blessings to all of you. Bye, everyone.